Okay, so I woke up this morning to a very heated argument with my African Nigerian mother about the trauma that she put me through. <laughs> Nigerian mom traumatized me. She ruined my life. Hi guys, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's me again, your girl Kamis. If it's your first time to see this face, mm, kindly hit that button and also turn on your notification bell so you'll be the first one to be notified each time I upload a video. So today I want to quickly share this video of this young Nigerian lady. She actually shared it on her TikTok of how her mom traumatized her, how her mom ruined her life, and how her dad used to beat her till she was bleeding. In fact, it's terrible. So you guys, I want you to watch the video before I will come back and give my own opinion and let's analyze this situation because, hey, you guys, and I'm asking, people will be like, why is it Nigerian? Does it have to be Nigerian? Mm, unfortunately nigerian gist is sweet anyway guys watch the video and let me know you guys i'm just i'm being i'm sorry i've been crying since i woke up this morning i'm sorry i just fuck i need i need a minute okay so i woke up this morning to a very heated argument with my african nigerian mother about the trauma that she put me through <laughs> about the trauma that she and my dad put me through how they used to beat the shit out of me as kids And I'm going to the gym right now because I need to, I need to take all this energy off. I just, I, I already used my Florida water this morning, but I just, I'm just like, I'm so traumatized because they fucked my life up. They, they treated me like an adult when I was a child. They made, I took care of my siblings. I took them to school. I baited them. I, I raised my siblings as of like 10 years old. Because as of 9 years old, I was back home. I was taking them to school. I was feeding them. I was... And now, I was trying to tell her the things that she did to me. And how she ruined my life. And how I can't even have a regular... I can't have a regular relationship with anybody. Like, my relationship is fucked up because... My trauma keeps popping up in there and I keep projecting it on them and it just fucked them up. And I was trying to talk to her today because she did the similar, same thing to my sister. And I told my mother, I said, mom, the way you're going about this thing, you're going to lose this girl. She's going to leave the house and it, the same shit she did to me when I left home at, at 17, you're going to, you're going to do it to this girl. And she was like, well, if I didn't do that to you when you were a child, are you going to be the way you are right now? I was like, mom, are you serious right now? You traumatized me. You fucked up my life. My dad used to beat me. Like, he used to... He wouldn't stop beating me until there was blood on my body. Like, until he saw that I was bleeding. And now she wants me to call him and talk to him and kick it with him. And I'm telling her it can't be possible. And she's asking me to forgive I have forgiven, but I would never forget because you fucking hurt. Hey guys, I want to give my own opinion, my own humble opinion about, you know, the whole situation. So, you know, first of all, the way Africans, you know, their own culture of bringing up kids is different from every other continent. I mean, every continent has its own you know, way of bringing up the kids, way of disciplining the kids. I mean, way of, you know, mentoring the kids. I mean, it's different. But some parents now, 
go to the extreme you know they they i don't even know if you to call it extreme they get out of hand just because the child will not speak out or the child dare not question your mom i mean we are trained to believe that your mom is right your parents are right and you are can you can never correct i mean in an african culture it's it's like an insult for you to even question an elder how dare you question an elder how dare you tell me this how can a small child be telling an elder what to do i mean this has been the most problematic i don't know what to call it prob problematic thing in africa that those who are above you of course they they are not be wrong i mean they cannot be wrong so whatever they tell you that is final in most cases so now this lady is complaining that the mother i mean the parents did never allow her to be a child and she was talking so much about her mom how she was bathing her siblings picking them from school taking them from school and believe me she did not even mention most of the things because you know in tiktok you cannot do long video i believe she'll be the one doing all the house chores cooking cleaning everything everything shopping going to shopping so what is the responsibility of a mother you know so there is this extreme ex extreme mothers they forget their responsibilities and they transfer their motherhood responsibilities to their older children and this is so wrong and now she also talk about her dad but let me finish talking about the mother first because she is the one that made this girl traumatized i mean how would you as a mother if you really love your daughter put her into this situation i don't know maybe you know the, the problem is like i said in africa some parents they are just too much they are just to the extreme like how would you bring or give birth to five children or six children that you cannot take care of i mean it's not done that way but unfortunately this is this is what happened okay now this lady here she's not even in in uh, in africa she is in abroad i don't know where she is but um she's in the abroad and uh, there actually you're not supposed to be beating <laughs> your kids it's not even allowed in sweden you are not allowed to beat children and i believe in most of the european countries that i know uh, i mean there are many i mean it's forbidden to beat a child but they did not say that you should not discipline a child i mean there are ways if you're even wondering on how to discipline your child they, they, they will guide you there are ways on how to discipline kids. I worked in a school. I worked in school. I worked in a daycare. And there are ways that we used to discipline the kids without beating them, without necessarily beating them. Now, here now, the, the mother now forgets uh, her responsibilities. You know, everything that she's supposed to do, she transferred to her own daughter. I mean, if you're a mom and you are always, you know, forgetting your duties as a mom and then you, you just forget totally and now your daughter will be the one cleaning, cooking, shopping. In fact, she will come from school. First of all, she wake up in the morning, make breakfast for everybody, bathe her siblings, drop them, I mean, go to them, drop them to school before she goes to her own school. Then while she's coming back, pick them back, come home, cook for them, give them food, bathe them again. And you, as a mom, what are you doing? I mean, what are you doing to that child? What is your responsibilities? Is she your, is she your co-wife? Your daughter is not your co-wife. Your daughter is supposed to help you. Guys, there's a difference between training a child and mishandling a child or enslavering a child. We are not saying that children should not help you. They are supposed to assist you, but they are not supposed to be the main actor in your home. 
you as a mom, as a wife, it's responsibility for you to be a wife and to be a mother of everyone in the family. So you're not supposed to forget your duties and transfer it to your kids. It's so wrong in so many angles. In fact, instead of you building that child, you are traumatizing her. So there's nothing wrong with giving kids some chores that they're supposed to do. Maybe when they come from school, uh, you prepare them some food, they eat some snacks, and then there's the one that used to maybe wash some dishes here and there, you know, assist. But it's not like you will make them slaves, you know, especially the elder ones. That you make them slaves and you, you are doing totally nothing. Your own is just to sit on the chair, raise your legs there and they be commanding everyone as they could. I mean, you are the queen of your own palace, but uh, even the queen acts as an example in her own palace. She doesn't go and ens slavering her, her, you know, what do we call them, the people working for, for her. I mean, as a master, you're supposed to be an example. You're not supposed to be rude or traumatizing your workers even as a boss you don't go there be bossy you know traumatizing everybody depressing everybody commanding here and there without respect without even caring how the other person is feeling without even you putting yourself in the same situation so the girl now say that the mother traumatized her she never allowed her to be a child so that childhood stage missed so she missed it and now to now now she grew up moved out of the house when she was 17 because she could no longer take it and she doesn't have anybody to tell i mean the mother must have been so mean that she did not even dare calling the government or maybe she respected her mother in a way that she doesn't want to put her mom into problems because if they realize that if the government wherever she is could have known that this is what this girl is going through those parents can land in prison, especially the dad. I mean, she was saying the dad was beating her until she's bleeding. That if she's not bleeding, the dad will not stop beating her. I mean, who does? That dad is not a father. That one is a beast. That one is not a human being. I don't even know what to call uh, that kind of person. That you treat your own blood, your own daughter in that manner and now you're expecting that now she's grown up you want her to be close to you and be calling you daddy hmm. some parents eh? hmm. they really have mind so so you see now the problem now the problem came the lady was crying and this video she did it last year december on the 30th before 2023 and she said that she was trying to remind her mom how she was traumatized how the mom traumatized her because apparently she had moved out and she went back to live with her mom basically because she doesn't have the funds to stay alone you know maybe she couldn't find a better job or things didn't work as, as expected and what she would have done just what she did is to go back to her mom and manage but she was telling her you know fellow tiktokers followers and people who care the world to to assist her that because people are asking, when would you want to move out? And she said that as <laughs> the moment she get money, the moment she get cash, that she'll be able to get a place, she's going to move out. Because she said that what her parents put her through was too much that she can forgive them, but she will never forget. Because because of this trauma, she can never have a normal relationship with anybody. And as you can see now, She's talking on social media. She just have to speak out somewhere. And now she had to go to the gym and remove all that negative, you know, energy from her, from her body. So you can see that mentally the lady need healing. What her mother... And the most painful thing is like when she was now questioning her mom, the mother was telling her that if I did not do this to you, would you be what you are today? Like what? What did you make her? You destroyed her mentally. She's not okay. She's out there on social media asking for help. And you're telling her, eh, if I did not beat you, eh, you would not be like this. Like, seriously? You destroyed her. You traumatized her. Now she has to go through healing. She need rehabilitation. This is basically what the mother did to, to her. So... So the, the, the argument even got hit, you know, hotter because the same treatment 
the mother showed this girl is the same treatment she's showing her younger sibling and she warned her mother and, and she told her mom the way you treated me is the same way you are treating my sister and you are going to lose her i moved from your house when i was 17 you are going to lose this girl ha huh, her mother like I said, you dare not correct an African mother. I think she must have felt offended. Like, how dare you tell me this? How dare me, you tell me this and that? You see? So she said that she's trying to build up a relationship with her mom. But she said that I don't think it's going to happen. And she can never forget what her mother put her through. And actually, she's ready to move out at any time. So my message to any parents out there is that don't forget your responsibilities and don't transfer your motherhood responsibility to your kids train them how to be adults but don't take the childhood from them allow them to be kids and also train them to be adults so it's a balance you have to find a balance of allowing your kids to be kids and also training them how to be adults giving them some chores here and there, give them some things to do, but it doesn't mean now they have to take over everything, do everything, and on top of that, they'll be receiving beatings. I mean, this is so wrong. This is traumatizing. It can lead to suicide. That's why some kids end up killing themselves. That's why some kids end up being like thugs. That's why some kids, they are always alone, you know? And they end up being even worse so look at even in africa how we are beaten and you ask yourself why is the african society like that why is it that all the beating all the all the things that we went through the country is not even <laughs> most countries are not you can see it like they did help us it's not like the, the, we cannot say that african kids are more disciplined than the uh, abroad kids no you can say that the beating <laughs> and the trauma and the slavery added more wounds <laughs> do you know and you can see even the the whole african system is not working you know people don't want to obey the laws people just do anyhow you see so it doesn't really help like that <laughs> you guys i don't know if i'm making sense so they are not saying that we should not discipline our kids but we should find the balance we should do it the right way before we end up destroying their lives and as a mom how could you watch your husband beat your own daughter remember she's a woman she's supposed to be a mom like you how do you expect her to build a home to take care of her own kids you've already enslaved her with your own responsibility now she's going to be a mother twice she skipped childhood shoo, to motherhood now the beating she doesn't i don't think she would ever even want to be married because she believed that all men are like that because that is what she see her her dad doing so trust issues you know it's like everything about this lady is you know it's a sad life we are not allowed we are not supposed to give back to our kids and enslave them and you know destroy their lives i mean if you can't take care of kids please stop giving birth it's hard in their abroad, but you have to find a balance. People are doing it. Some parents are balancing everything, you know, having kids and going to school. So you are not the first one to give back to kids in abroad, and now you want to traumatize your kids. No, their parents, they are, they are working full time. They have kids to take to school. They have kids to pick. So some of these parents, please, you need to stop it. You need to stop traumatizing your kids. You need to stop transferring all the duties to your children. And uh, forget your duties. Your child is not your co-wife, like I said. And uh, to the boy children, your child is not your... I don't know what to say about that. But most victims is the ladies. The women, African women, they always suffer more than the men. Because I remember when in the African culture, most countries, is the woman that does everything. Why the men are just there. You know, cooking, cleaning, and all those things is is a is a chores that were put on women. So the men will be there waiting for food. We are cleaning their clothes. We are giving them food and be kneeling down and be serving them. 
So you see, we are we are basically slaves. If you, if you look at it <laughs> that way. Anyway, guys, I don't want this video to be long. I just want to know what is your opinion about this video. Let me know at the comment section. Let's talk. Let's discuss. And yeah, guys, let me see you in my next one. And please don't forget to support me by subscribing and also turning on your notification bell and you can as well if you think that this video is okay if you feel that i made some sense <laughs> share it out okay so you guys ciao